All right then, hello guys. Today we're doing another Pico CTF challenge and the challenge we're gonna be doing today is gonna be called Hash Only Two. So we're gonna start it up right away. And it's gonna be very similar to Hash Only One. So how are we gonna do this challenge? So if we connect to it using the same thing that we did last time, which was SSH CTF like we did, and then we use the exact same password, copy. And then yes, then we have to enter the password. So if we click on this, copy. <laughs> My bad. All right then, so we have this. So what can we do? So it looks like if we run the binary, regardless, LA. So it says R bash. CD restricted, so our bash. It's a bit different from last time. It looks like we were in another type of bash. So if we look, I think mean flag, or I think we're, it might be environment so flag hasher. So it's an environment variable now, and I guess it's a bit different. It's our bash. So what is our bash? Our bash is basically a restrictive uh, bash. So which is a restrictive version of of, uh, of bash shell. So it's used to limit uh, mm -hmm. functionality or certain functionality that you'll get in a regular uh, bash shell. Let me check if I'm still, yeah, it's still recording. So it's used for restrictions purposes. So how do we get out of this? So we could get out of this just by simply typing sh and then boom, we got out. So now if we type ls, ls la, see we have a lot more stuff. We could do uh, other prior stuff that we weren't able to do. So now we're able to, I guess, um, so we're, I think I can go back to our bash. Yeah, so ls, lsla. Oh, well, it looks like I can't, sh. <laughs> so now we could probably do the same thing that we were doing last time. So, oh, you know what? I just, I want to be able to show you guys the exit, exit, exit. All right, then, so see, like ls, we're restricted, lsla. That still works. Uh, CD, can we? Yeah, restrict our bash. So we can't even do, I guess, none of our previous commands because it's not gonna work. So we try CP dollar sign, uh, which cat, and then we move it to MD five sum, and now if we run path equals the flag files, which is flag hasher, we get our bash read only variable. So we can only read only, but now if we change it to sh, which gets us out of that restriction shell, we're able to basically copy our commands because uh, we escaped the restrictions. Now if we run that, and now if we run this next, uh, Lag hasher. Mm, maybe because I had to go a uh, witch flag hasher. Okay, then. So now if we just copy this and then space down, now we know the, I guess, the file directory where it's at. Let me press enter. Computing, and then we just wait for it and we get the flag. So yeah, that's about it. Nothing too difficult, nothing too hard. And yep, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Submit and go.